Hey guys, how are you doing? I am here trying to get milk from this cow, but the farmer said there are a few steps to milking a cow. I did not really listen to them, so I am just going to try on my own. Ouch! I guess it is important to do all the steps when you have a problem. While I go take care of my bruises, why don't you guys learn about two-step word problems? There are many different methods people use to solve word problems, so don't think these methods are the only ones. These are just some that help me when I'm solving problems with more than one step in them. In two-step word problems, the first thing to do is find your question. What question is the problem asking? We need to know what they are asking us to figure out in the problem. After you know what the question is, you find your first step or first part to solve and figure out the answer to that step. Once you have that answer, you then move on to find your second step and figure out the answer to that step. Many times you'll need the answer from the first step to solve the second step. Usually, this will be the last thing you need to do in a two-step problem. Some word problems have more steps, and if they do, just keep solving the steps until you get the answer to the question in the problem. Now that we have that out of the way, it's time to bring in some word problems. Here is our first word problem. It says, at the zoo, each adult ticket costs $5, and each child ticket costs $3. How much will it cost for two adults and one child? The first thing we want to do is find the question, or what the problem is asking us to find. The last sentence tells us, we need to find out how much it will cost us for two adults and one child at the zoo. Great, now we can start with figuring out the first step. What do you think the first step is? The first step is to find out the cost of both the adult and child tickets individually. Let's start with the adults. Each adult ticket costs how much? $5. We know there are two adults. We have 5 times 2 equals the letter M. Wait, what is the letter M doing in my problem? The letter M in the problem represents the number we do not know. Instead of having a blank spot, we can use letters to represent a number we do not know. It can be any letter you want, P, S, N, or M. In order to find out what M is, we multiply $5 by the two adults, which gives us 10. Awesome! Now we want to find the cost of the child tickets. The child tickets cost $3 each, and there was only one child. 3 times 1 is what? Three. Good job. We found out the cost of the tickets for the adults and children. The next step is finding the last part, which asks us to find the total cost of the two adults and one child. What do you think we do next? The last step is to add both amounts together. $10 plus $3 gives us $13. So for two adults and one child, the total cost at the zoo is $13. Great job! One thing we can do to make sure we got the answer right is to see if it is reasonable. What I mean by that is 13 seems reasonable or makes sense to be the answer. Now what if our answer we got was $130? That would not seem correct for the amount of tickets. Looking at your answer to see if it makes sense can help you double check your work and catch mistakes. You can also plug your answer back into the equations to see if they are correct. Let's get another problem in here. The new problem says Aaron buys four toys that cost $2 each. How much change will he get back if he gives the clerk a $20 bill? What is the problem asking us to find? We are being asked to find the amount of change Aaron will get back after giving the clerk a $20 bill and paying for his toys. What do you think the first step should be? The first step I would do is find out how much Aaron spent on the four toys. We know that each toy costs $2. If we multiply the four toys times the $2, we will get the total amount of money Aaron spent. The letter P will represent the unknown number. What is four times two? The answer is $8. The next step in the problem is to find out how much change Aaron will get back after giving the clerk a $20 bill. Aaron paid $8 for the four toys. 
To find the change, we need to subtract the $8 from the 20. What is 20 minus 8? The answer is 12. Aaron will get $12 back after buying the four toys that cost $2 each. Great job, guys! Ugh. So I guess the cow does not like me too much at the moment. Thanks for helping me learn about two-step word problems today. See you guys later. Okay, enough. You can get off me now. Ugh. Hey guys, you have a few options here. If you want to subscribe, click the red button below. If you want to watch more awesome stuff, you can click the video on my right or on my left. If you want to check out our awesome new math game called Mage Math, click the link below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose. Uh-oh. Ah!